What is going on, guys? RSR here from RSR Collections, and happy Tuesday. So, uh, this series, this is going to be episode one of this series, guys. And it's so dumb because due to conflicts in schedule, this series uh, that will be uploaded um, is supposed to be meant for Twitch and then uploaded after. But unfortunately, episode one will have to be done on YouTube and then just we'll hopefully just start doing Twitch from there. So just to fill you in, guys, uh, yesterday I just pre-recorded a video for the channel um, due for the end of March uh, talking about the series. So it's just a shame that I have to upload this first before... Um, that video comes out. So just a quickly recap, guys, just because um, I'm sure whoever watches this, you guys will watch my video at the end of March. <laughs> and if not, you better turn on that notification bell. <laughs> but um, with that being said, guys, um, this series will be called TCG Tuesday Challenge or TCG Tuesdays, if you will. So TCG Tuesdays is the TC also known as the TCG Tuesday Challenge, where I'm going to be opening some sealed product, right? Um, there's going to be either budgets, themes, whatever the case is, and we're going to have a TCG Tuesday champion. Now, you guys are probably wondering, you know, what do you mean by that? Like, who's we? So in this case, um, this is why this makes more sense on Twitch first and then upload to YouTube after. Uh, so his name is at Rave Collecting. Check out his Instagram um, for some awesome content. <laughs> but um, his Instagram handle, like I said, is at Rave Collecting. And him and I, um, out of the our main you know, circle, if you will, there's three of us, uh, between him and I, we agreed to, and we kind of just made up this fun little challenge since we keep calling each other out in these pack opening videos. And we decided, Hey, what the heck, let's go do an actual challenge. Like let's make this into a weekly or like a bi, like, you know, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, whatever routine. Um, so we got the idea last week as he did a stream, he had some pretty good pulls to you guys. Um, but I think this week will be the official TCG Tuesdays. So as of right now, no one's a champion yet. So chances are this video will upload Tuesday morning. So whoever watches this in the morning or afternoon, good morning. <laughs> and he'll be uh he'll be streaming his uh in the evening um today. And I'll make sure to have both of our Twitch accounts in the description below. Again, we just like to keep it fun. Um, given that you know with the pandemic, things are still like, things are definitely getting a lot better, but at the same time, like uh we still want to make this as fun and entertaining as possible. So that's enough, guys. We're just about to hit the three-minute marker. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's a decent enough um, explanation. Like I said, uh, on the 30th, when I do my up my uh, my upload, um, I'll be sure to or for sure there's an in-depth um, breakdown on there as well. With that being said, guys, joining us on TCG Tuesday Challenge today is Monsieur Joey Wheeler. So I figured just to kind of make it. Um, you know, just kind of keep the theme going of TCG Tuesdays. Um, I'm only going to be showcasing like things like Konami. Well, mats wise, I'll only be using Konami mats in the background. And I feel like I might as well just put some Yu-Gi-Oh toys to start out with as well. So I figured to start off um, the series, I'll have Joey Wheeler out here. So let's go. Let's go. And for our packs today, guys. So I think our theme that me and him, uh, that him and I, sorry, <laughs> have agreed on is one, 50 bucks two older sets so we have to go as old as we can i think no newer than 2019 another rule that we made is you can't do any repeats so whatever i open this week i can't have again next week so with that being said guys i'm going to start off with something familiar on this channel one cybernetic horizon special editions still not a bad set uh, in my opinion like honestly number 38 hope harbinger is going up in price like Literally, I pull this, I pretty much made almost the value of the box, which is $12 Canadian. And I think on TCG Player, I think the card's roughly hovering around 8 USD or so. So we got one, Cybernetic Horizons. Um, for those of you guys that have just been in the new era of Yu-Gi-Oh! within the past year or two, we got three packs of Rising Rampage. The cool thing about these three packs, guys, is... Um, all this product, except for this, was bought at um, this one little shop, and uh, I've been, I think I've already named the, I think I've already described this shop in my channel before, but basically, guys, he carries a lot of older, like, Yu-Gi-Oh packs, like, I don't think he has anything newer than 2019, I'm pretty sure it's all 2019 and below, and he has older packs that range from, he doesn't have anything from, like, the GX era, like, GX era, I'm pretty sure they all got cleared out, and that doesn't surprise me, but he has a lot of packs hovering from, like, the 5Ds era into, like, 
the like the early Xe era so like what like 2012 2013 but to kind of start off with something that's like in the 2019 or lower range again through resin rampage the reason why I went to that full depth story guys is because these three packs were pulled from a fresh booster box and that's exactly how I like it you know there's no I'm not con like I don't have to have that you know um back and forth in my mind on they could have been weighed or whatever whatever it was a fresh box he opened them and nobody's touched them and that's because he had a display case full of booster box for the longest time <laughs> so we got three rising rampage and good news is they're first edition packs so i haven't been able to find first edition packs in a while for rising rampage another pack one soul fusion in first edition as well so it's pretty cool how i'm trying i'm able to find some of these packs in first ed now where are my older Yu-Gi-Oh fans at? Where are they? Because this pack that I'm about to show you guys was hmm, end of 5Ds. What year would that have been? 20, 2011, maybe? 2010, 2011, 2012? Somewhere around there within those th two, two three-year spans. Where are you guys at? Because I guarantee you guys have not seen this pack in a while. When I mean by you guys, I mean just anybody who plays the Yu-Gi-Oh game. We got three Photon Shockwave packs. I figured why not like um, ever since Legendary Duelist uh, season two came out um, and like I think other like other a few other sets the galaxy like photon stuff has been going up. Um, there's still room for opportunity for you know ghost rare uh, galaxy as photon dragon so who knows again back in the day these were the, uh, these were the times where you were guaranteed at least well in a box you were guaranteed what ultimate rare for sure and then you still and it never like um discouraged your chance of getting a ghost rare they are in limited packs which is a shame so i don't recall if you could get a ghost rare in unlimited but again guys like this is nostalgic to me at least uh this is when like i first went back at like this is when like this era of Yu-Gi-Oh right here is when i started going to locals where i started playing more competitively in Yu-Gi-Oh. so uh, this era meant a lot to me in terms of, you know, childhood and how the Yu-Gi-Oh game was. So, of course, I didn't take a thumbnail. So, in 3, 2, 1. There you go. <laughs> so, let's get started here, guys. I am super excited to open these packs. Mainly, the Photon Shockwave and the Rising Rampage because, again, fresh booster box. And it's in first edition. But we'll start off with something we're already familiar with, guys. We'll start off with Cybernetic Horizons. So, like I said... As long as we pull that number 38, we're, pr we're pretty much good to go, in my opinion. Um, and then anything else that we pull along the way is just, you know, is just cool. <laughs> All right. Come on. It blows my mind, though, how, like, uh, my OTS stores still have some of these special editions lying around. Um, Konami, you should definitely make more special editions. I don't understand why you guys discontinued that. I don't understand why you discontinued half the stuff that you guys used to do that made buying sealed product cool. Like buying a booster box and being guaranteed to go uh, an ultimate rare and then the chance for a ghost rare. So, like I said, three packs of Cybernetic Horizon. Promo cards are Internal Galaxy. Nice. So we already got it. Number thirty-eight. Hope Harbinger. Boom. Instant money back already. Uh, why not? I'll put you in a sleeve here. And I do apologize, guys, if I sound tired or whatever. Like it, it's it's a morning. Okay, like it's Tuesday morning. <laughs> all right guys three cybernetic horizons let's get started all right so let's see here so it's these two right four and five all right here guys we got crusadia power psychic ace drag unity Kaus, divine serpent ga mythical institution a goki heal ogre crusadia reclusia Nice, super rare drink, Unity Senatus. And a rare incantation, Talismandra. Okay, not bad. Remember, um, they did say they were supposed to make Drag Unity support X amount of uh, years ago, right? Like, that's disappointing how whatever support they, they considered wasn't real actual support for the deck. I did, I remember too, like my best friend at the time, he actually bought the Drag Unity deck. It was pretty fun to play at the time from what I remember. He sold me the deck, and then... Um, yeah, like I was, I was just waiting for that support, and I held on to it for as long as I can until I just got imp uh, impatient and just you know got rid of the deck eventually. <laughs> but I remember for a little bit of support cards, you would raid the hidden arsenal packs. I think it was hidden, yeah, hidden arsenal packs. Goki Moon Salt, Perform Pal Hands Smurager, Demise Agent of Armageddon, Terrifying Toddler of Torment, Crusadia, 
not Avramax, but Regulax, Goki Tag Partner, Cycle of the World, and nice! An Ultra Cyber Dragon Seeger. Seeger, Seeger. That is awesome, guys. I think that was a reprint, right? In Comet, in uh, Legendary Duel Season 2, and another Incantation Candle. That's awesome. Our first Ultra Rare. Don't think there's a lot of value on it, but hey, you know what? I'll take an Ultra. Last pack of... Actually, you know what? Let's do Soul Fusion. Let, let's take a break in between. Alright. Now, funny enough, guys, I did open two Soul Fusions in um, the video that's going to be dropping later this month. Whoa. I bought the pack only for about 350 or so, and it's so weird how first edition packs sold these are 350. The unlimiteds are six bucks. I don't know why it's like that. I'm at two at two different OTS stores, but not a, I, I'm, what I will say. Not a bad pack. I might actually go back in if it's only 350. Uh, Salman Great Emerald Eagle, World Legacy World Wand, Salman Great Foxy, a rare Thunder Dragon Discharge, uh, Patchwork Fluffle. Hold on, let's put our rare in this pile. A subsurface stage Devere's Predator Plant, nice and common, and I gave Dragon, nice, nice. Actually, I might just put that in that pile just because it is usable. And a super rare Falgo, Justice for Hire. I think I've seen that card a few times already. All right, not bad as our only Soul Fusion pack, and our last pack is Cybernetic Horizon. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. It's so funny because I pre-recorded a video that consisted of two of these special editions of Cybernetic Horizon. I don't even think I dropped it on the channel yet. And this is back in January. <laughs> so as you can tell, um, just preloaded content is what I'm just trying to go after, guys. It's tough to kind of balance, uh, you know, your main job, your side hustle, channel, all your other hobbies. <laughs> Mini Boral Dragon, Restoration Point Guard, Crusadia Draco, a rare crossbreed, Cycle the World, Koki Tag Partner, Mythical Institution, World Legacy's Memory, and a Super Hip Hop Shenagan. j Rec, that's for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. I mean, overall, not too bad. Like, we made, I'm pretty sure between Hope Harbinger and maybe Cyber Dragon Seeger, we, we broke even, I guess, right? Because 8 USD is already at least 12, like the price of the box in Canadian, I'm pretty sure. So... We'll, we'll see. I'll, we'll double check values for next time. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're getting, we're counting out to the exciting stuff. Rising Rampage. Let's get it, guys. From a fresh, wow. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a, there's a little bit of dust on here. So once again, guys, super excited because this is from a fresh booster box, guys. A fresh booster box. Nobody's even touched them. I wouldn't doubt it either, though, just because I don't think anybody would go out shopping for Rising Rampage. But, you know, of course I would. <laughs> we got Psychic Fervor. Fervor? Fervor? <laughs> uh, Mercenus Current. Seymour Gone Slot. A rare Tinny Spirit Sahana. Sahana. A Sword Sting. Seamorg. Yosinjuna Izana. Uh, Wind Worship. And. A Super Seymour Lord of the Storm. Okay. Next pack. First edition, Rising Rampage. Come on, guys. May the Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods be with us. Alright. We got Seymour Bird of Protection. Uh, Barricade Board Blocker. Seymour Sky Battle. I put the wrong card in the background. Uh, that, that's why I hesitated there. Uh, Mayo Sinju Hitot. And a rare Fortune Lady Rewind. So it was card five and six. Fuma Wave. Baba Barber. <laughs> Baba Barber. Shout out to my two main barbers at MBS. <laughs> uh, Matt in the Maddie in the Cut, I believe is your handle. And uh, Marvin Barillo. Thanks for everything you guys do for me. <laughs> uh, Channeling and Voltester. Oh, right. I mean, I was super hyped on getting these packs, and now they're starting to be a disappointment. <laughs> so let's let's go, guys. Last pack of Rising, Rising Rampage in first edition. Come on, let's let's get something good. Let, let's get something good. Uh, so it's four and five. 
So we got Psychic Fervor. They return to the normal. Ha! Huh. I wish. <laughs> Versible Beetle. Seamorg. Uh, Megastric Magician. Dino Wrestler Rambicho. Rogue of the Indian Moon. And a Super Link Mail Archfiend. And Vessel the Dragon Psycho. Okay, I mean, kind of disappointing. But I guess that's what I... I mean, especially with the location where I kind of picked up the packs, I, I would have thought it would have been better. So that sucks. But don't worry, guys. We'll do Rising Rampage again eventually. Obviously not uh, next week or whenever the next time I do TCG Tuesdays. But, well, you'll definitely see, expect to see these more on the channel. So we got, like I said, three packs of Photon Shockwave. I probably should have rated the last two because there's only a stack of five left. But um, I wanted to keep the ratios even because I was just so excited about Rising Rampage. So... But you know what? If they're still there, honestly, I know I can't do it for ne for next time, but I will get the last two Photon Shockwave packs if they're still there. So let's go, guys. Whew. Breathing in that, what, 20... Does it show the year of these boosters somewhere? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so either. Huh. But I know this is for sure a 20... Like, a somewhere between 2010 and 2012... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh pack, Yu-Gi-Oh set. All right. Have not gone through Photon Shockwave in forever. Got Evo Miracle. I remember buying a booster box of this too. Evolutionary Bridge. Shark stickers. Put the wrong card in the back. We got Evo Tile Weslo. Evo Tile. Oh yeah, I guess this is where all the other Evo Tile cards were. Um, were a thing. Rabbit Dragon. A traffic control, and a Red Junk Defender. That's right, the Evo Tile cards. I remember that. All right. I mean, it's still a great, uh, it's still a great set to open just for the nostalgia. <laughs> Second pack of Photon Shockwave. So then it's the third card, three and four maybe. We got a Corno. I remember that. Try White. Target two level three or two. Target three level two or normal monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them from the grave. Huh, not bad actually. You got a rare Tyrant's Th Thoros. Damage Diet. I remember seeing that card. Illuminize. Goblin Pothole Squad. Yeah, we could use one of these in Winnipeg. Because it's. Actually, are they fixing potholes or making potholes? No, they're fixing potholes. So yeah, we could definitely use this in where we are. <laughs> Watt Cobra. Plasma Ball. And. What cancel? Oh, I see what's going on here, guys. So I for totally forgot that back in the day, you weren't guaranteed a hollow, you were guaranteed a rare. So it was actually great that in that first pack, we did pull a hollow. That's right. That is right, guys. Totally forgot about that. All right, last pack Photon Shockwave. Let's go. I totally forgot about that, actually. Huh. You know, I'm just going to move these three cards to the back. I'm not taking any chances. We got Road Nut. <laughs> I remember back in the day when I used to do trading online. Um, like Yu-Gi-Oh! binders for, like, that you post on YouTube. Some guy want, had, like, a whole binder full of these for whatever reason. Evil Tile Odonto. A Zen Malfunction. All oh, the wind-up stuff. Ego Boost. I know somebody that, uh, never mind. <laughs> Stinging Swordsman. Violent Ulm. And One Day of Peace. Okay. And a Mirror Mail. All right, here we go. Here we go. Please, Ultra Rare. Ah, Daybreaker. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up. I mean, yeah. Like, Honest, if I'm being completely honest, like, yeah, nothing really notable to pull. I, I would say it's a bust for this week. But you know what? It was just fun kind of um, going after the older packs for once. Like, I know there was nothing money in Photon Shockwave, but I completely forgot that you'd be lucky to even pull a hollow with your booster pack back then because you were only guaranteed a rare card, not a hollow. So that was still pretty cool how we still pulled something from Photon Shockwave, guys. Otherwise, nothing really that notable. Just quickly going through the pile. Just a bunch of super rares and rares. Uh, again, like, aside from that, this is probably one of our best uh, one of our best cards here. Cyber Dragon Seeger, right, in, in Ultra Rare. And then uh, number 38, uh, Hope Harbinger. 
So for sure, we broke even on the box, uh, or sorry, on the special edition that we bought, but nothing really too um, notable as a whole. <laughs> so at Array of Collecting, wish you luck, man. Uh, you're probably going to be champ for the week. Um, guys, he's uh, he bought a few. Um, he went a little bit older than I did. Like He, all, he got Cosmic, uh, Cosmic Blazer, am I saying that right? Um, special editions, Galactic Overload. I don't know if you guys remember that booster pack. Uh, I think r right around there is when I actually stopped buying packs and kind of went away from the game. So once again, guys, this was fun. I can't wait to do more of these TCG Tuesdays, also known as the TCG Tuesday Challenge. So with that being said, uh, we'll find out who the champ will be by the end of the night. All right, guys, once again, I will have our both mine and Array's um, Array of Collecting. <laughs> I keep mentioning you by handle. Um, I'll make sure to have his Twitch um, link in the below. Make sure you follow us both, guys. He's more active on Twitch than I am. So definitely, um, you know, he makes great stuff, guys. He really does. And he has the God hands, too. <laughs> so once again, I th honestly, I think he's the reason why these polls weren't even that great. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But super cool. Joey Wheeler pop if you guys haven't seen one before. Really awesome, guys. All right, once again, happy Tuesday, guys. RSR here from RSR Collections, finishing the Tuesday, sorry, TCG Tuesday Challenge. Deuces.